Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of Able Further Maths. Here we're looking at finding an angle between two lines. Hopefully you've watched the previous video of the dot product um, rule. So we can answer questions from exercise 9D. This is going to be the first part of four videos to go through this exercise here because there is a lot to go through in this exercise. So to break it up a little bit, we've got, we're going to use four videos. So let's say we've got... Um, two equations of lines. The first line is 2, 1, 1 plus t lots of 3 minus 8 minus 1 and the second line is 7, 4, 1 plus s lots of 2, 2, 3. And the question is, uh, given that L1 and L2 intersect, find the size of the acute angle of the lines um, to one decimal place. Now the first thing we need um, is to identify well, which of these vectors, we've got effectively four vectors here, that we are going to be um, dot producting. Now it's really important that you identify that it's just the direction vectors that we are going to be using here. The fact that it starts at a different place or finishes at a different place or, or anything like that is, is non-consequential. It's the direction that the vector is traveling in that affects the angle of intersection rather than where the vector specifically started. Okay, so this is our A vector, this is going to be our B vector for this question. Effectively, this part here is not any use whatsoever. So, in this rule here, we're going to use A dot B. So in this rule here, A dot B is the X components times together, the Y components times together, and the Z components times together. Add all of those results together and we get a minus 13. Now we need to find the magnitude of each of those vectors, so 74 square root and root 17. Now all that's left for us to do is to just apply our formula. Cos theta equals a dot b over mod a mod b, and in this case here it's going to be minus 13 over root 74 times root 17. Cos minus 1 that answer, and we're going to get 111.5 which is great, that is the angle between the two vectors. Um, the question here just wants us to do an extra little calculation, which is the acute angle between the two lines. Okay, so at the moment, this is what we've got here. Our axis intersection point is here. We've got two lines that are going away from this intersection point, and the angle there is gonna be 111.5. So the acute angle between these two vectors is gonna be this angle here, so 68.5. So if you ever get a situation where you want an acute angle but you've actually got an obtuse angle, do 180 minus it and you're probably uh, going to be getting the correct answer. Think about what the diagram will look like and that will help you evaluate what you need to do there. Okay, so 68.5 is your answer there. Okay, your turn to have a go at this question now then. Pause the video and find the angle between these two acute angles. Uh, find the angle between these two lines. Right, okay, yeah, it does say just find the angle between these lines. We don't need to be going to find any acute angles in any sense. So let's just take the direction vectors. Don't care about the starting position coordinates. And let's get cracking. So minus 2, minus 1, 3, dotted with minus 4, minus 2, 1 divided by square root of 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 9 is 14 times by the square root of 16 plus 4 is 20, 21. So I found the modulus of those two vectors in these square roots here. Uh, in this calculation here it's going to be 8 plus 2 plus 3, so that's going to be 13. So it's going to be 13 over root 14, root 21. Probably could simplify that there. Uh, and now all we need to do is cos minus 1, 13 divided by square root of 14 times 21, uh, close brackets, uh, oops, and we get, oh, just uh, did an incorrect calculation on my calculator there. There we are, it's 40.7 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so that's the answer for question 1b. Maybe you can have a go at question 1a and 1c. But yes, we've got four videos in which we're going to cover the whole of this exercise 9d. And so maybe move on to the next video now. Thanks very much for watching.